Picture this. You're overlooked for a promotion again, despite your hard work and dedication. You watch as someone else, who knows how to play the game, climbs the ladder effortlessly. It's frustrating, isn't it? Do you ever wonder why some managers achieve their goals by any means necessary, while others struggle? What if the key to effective leadership lies in understanding the darker side of management tactics? How can Machiavellian strategies, when used ethically, transform your approach to leadership and success? Welcome back to EM. This is your Captain AL speaking. Today, we're diving deep into the question of how Machiavellian strategies, when used ethically, can transform your approach to leadership and success. Let's go. Understanding Machiavellianism in Management. Machiavellianism in management doesn't mean manipulation or deceit. It's about being strategic, pragmatic, and sometimes unorthodox in your approach. Inspired by Niccolò Machiavelli's The Prince, this strategy focuses on results, efficiency, and the sometimes harsh realities of corporate dynamics. It's about understanding human nature and using this knowledge to guide yourself and your team effectively. Strategic leadership and decision-making. Here are three key claims to consider. Prioritization and efficiency. Machiavellian management emphasizes the importance of prioritizing tasks based on their impact. In his book, Essentialism, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less, Greg McKeown discusses the value of focusing on what truly matters. This principle applies in management. By prioritizing tasks, you streamline processes and increase efficiency. Two, balance delegation. Delegation is not just about assigning tasks, it's about understanding your team's strengths and weaknesses. Jim Collins in Good to Great highlights the importance of getting the right people in the right roles. This means delegating strategically, ensuring that tasks are assigned to those most capable, fostering both individual growth and team success. Three, making tough decisions for long-term benefits. Sometimes, a manager must make unpopular decisions for the overall health of the organization. In The Hard Thing About Hard Things by Ben Horowitz, the necessity of facing difficult decisions head-on is a key theme. Whether it's restructuring a team or cutting costs, these decisions, while tough, can lead to sustainable growth and stability, influencing and persuasion techniques. Here are three fundamental aspects to consider. Understanding motivations. Effective influence begins with understanding what drives people. Daniel H. Pink's drive, The Surprising Truth, about what motivates us explores the different motivations that drive human behavior. These motivations include career advancement, recognition and appreciation, work-life balance, purpose and meaning, financial incentives, learning and development. By tapping into these motivations, you can align individual goals with organizational objectives. 2. Communication Mastery Communication is more than just talking. It's about connecting with people. In How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie outlines timeless principles of effective communication. Active listening, empathy, and clear messaging are crucial in persuading and guiding your team towards shared goals. 3. Ethical Negotiation and Conflict Resolution Negotiation is not about winning at all costs. It's about finding a mutually beneficial solution. Getting to Yes by Roger Fisher and William Urey offers strategies for principled negotiation. These include active listening, focus on interests, not positions, develop multiple options, use objective criteria. In management, this means resolving conflicts in a way that respects all parties involved. Navigating workplace politics ethically. Workplace politics can be a minefield, but a Machiavellian manager navigates this with savvy and ethics. It's about being aware of the different dynamics and power structures within the organization and using this knowledge to make informed decisions. Building alliances, understanding stakeholder interests, and diplomatically handling conflicts are part of this strategy. This approach is about being politically astute while maintaining integrity and fairness. Bottom line. Incorporating Machiavellian principles into your management style doesn't mean abandoning ethics. It's about being astute, strategic, and understanding the complexities of human behavior to lead effectively. By adopting these tactics, you can enhance your leadership skills, navigate workplace challenges, and drive success in your professional life. Thank you for joining us on Ethical Machiavelli. 
If you found these insights helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content on ethical leadership and strategy. Here's to your success as a strategic and ethical leader in the workplace.